All right, how's it going everybody? So today I'm going to give a review, well not really a review, but my opinion of the Raiz app. Okay, let's start. What is the Raiz app? Raiz app is yet another investment app that exists in Malaysia, but it has a unique selling point. If you connect your Maybank debit card to the Raiz app and every time you spend money on your, your Maybank debit card, it will round up that amount and then the spare change over there, they would take that and invest it in ASNB's unit trust. So that's a pretty cool feature. Nobody else is doing this. So besides the auto roundup feature that I just explained, you can also invest in lump sum. You can put however much money you want into the unit trust or create a auto deduction every month or so, just like the robo advisors and stash away and white invest. Now, who is the Raiz app for? Well, in my opinion, because they're really pushing the idea that every time you spend, they would round up your purchase and then that small difference, they're gonna invest for you automatically. I think the main target audience is for people who might have problem setting money aside to save or invest every month. So this app will force you, nah, 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 help you to save every time you spend money using your Maybank debit card. So what are the Raiz app's fee? Well, it looks here from their website, if your portfolio value is less than 6,000 ringgit, they're gonna charge you one ringgit 50 cents every month, which kind of sounds like a lot to me. However, if your portfolio value is above 6,000, they're gonna charge you a flat rate of 0.3% per year. The fees are pretty high at 0.3% per year, but it is still lower than both Wahid Invest and Stash Away, which is charging roughly about 0.8% per year. So let's start with the pros of the Raiz app, in my opinion. Well, number one, it helps some people to save money because not everybody has the discipline to save money every month. They just spend money, they don't think about it, and they just need a little bit of help to help them invest money every month. So if you happen to be one of those people, I think this app will help you to save some money or maybe at least get you started to save money. Pros number two, I think nowadays for all apps, people want transparency and flexibility. So you can buy more investment and sell your investment at any time with their app. So I think that's pretty cool. But that's just like any other robo-advisors that's out there. For Stashaway and Wahid Invest, you can also add more investment or sell your investment anytime you want. So that's good. People want to see this and people want to see the progress of their investment at any time by opening up their app and seeing what is the status of their investment. Pros number three, this is investing in full auto. So every time you spend money using your Maybank debit card, they would take that change, the difference in small change, and invest it in ASNB's unit trust. But because it's unit trust, it's an actively managed portfolio that ASNB will figure out what to do with the money. But well, you can't really tell them, ASNB, where to put your money. But then again, the target audience for the Raiz app is for people who might be new to investing or might have problems saving up money in the first place. So to me, that's why I take this as a pro for this app, because it fits the target audience. All right, let's start with the cons of the app. And there's many more cons than there are pros in my opinion. So for the auto run up feature, it only works if you have a Maybank debit card. So if you have a debit card with anybody else, it doesn't work. And if you have a Maybank credit card or any other credit card, it also doesn't work for that automatic roundup feature. And I don't know about you, but I can't remember the last time I've used my debit card. I think the only time I use it is to withdraw cash. And that's like maybe once a month because most of the stuff, if I pay for stuff, it's either with my credit card or I use like a, some sort of payment app, maybe to you. So I really can't remember the last time I used my debit card. So if I were to invest using this, I don't think I would invest much because I rarely use my debit card. Point number two is the biggest reason why I don't want to invest in the Raiz app and that is uh, privacy risk. So when you want to sign up, they want to link the app to my debit card. And um, I don't know, I'm just not that comfortable because I feel like there, there's this company that knows all of my expenditures, the record of all the things that you spend with your debit card. And it's a possibility that that data might be sold to an advertiser somewhere down the line. I'm not saying that they're doing that, but it's a risk, right? Because that data is with somebody else right now. So to counter this concern to their investor, right, is actually passes off the security concern to a third party company to handle all the card information. So I got the link 
to this company down here because I got this from their website. But now do you want to transfer your trust to this new company? And my personal opinion, not really. I never heard of this company and I don't personally trust it. So that's why I don't want to invest in Raiz Investment app. This is the biggest reason why I don't want to connect my debit card to the Raiz app. Okay, uh, cons number three. You're actually investing a very small amount because if you think about it, if I use my debit card to buy something that's like three ringgit 60 cents, they're gonna round it up to four ringgit. And then the balance 40 cents is what they're gonna use to invest in something. Another example, if I spend something that costs four ringgit, they round it up to five. So they're gonna invest that balance one ringgit into my portfolio. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like a lot of money. And also, going back to my main point that I rarely use my debit card, this auto round up feature might not be beneficial to me whatsoever. So unless if you spend your, your, your debit card every day, this auto roundup feature might not be that useful for you. Point number four, it's it's not for everybody. Again, the target audience is for people, maybe they're, they're new to investing or they have problems setting aside money every month. But if you have that discipline, right? Like I am able to budget my, my salary, like, okay, I can put a little bit here every month. Then I feel like picking up my own investment makes a lot more sense than relying on the roundup feature on my debit card. And the next point, if you think about it, the roundup feature invests your money every time you swipe your card. So I know it's helping you to invest money, but it, it will only invest money if you spend money. So that's why I feel like it's a, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because this might encourage some people to actually spend more. And the last point, it's not really Sharia compliant. Raiz invests in ASNB's unit trusts that are not officially Sharia compliant. We have the link for you down in the description for you to read more about this from their blog. So if you're one of those guys that really want your investment to be officially Sharia compliant, then this investment app might not be for you. All right, now I have the table comparison between Rise app, the Stashaway app, and Wahid Invest. Here's my opinion at least. So Wahid Invest and Stashaway puts your money into ETFs, while the Rise app puts your money into ASNB's Unit Trust. So Unit Trust and ETFs are quite similar, but they're not exactly the same. So both ETF and Unit Trust is a portfolio of a bunch of investments. So ETF are indices traded on the stock market. So for example, S&P 500. Each indices will, will be of a specific niche or category. So for example, property, technology, or even regions. Unit Trust, however, is also a portfolio of stuff, but it's actively managed by a fund manager. So there's a person who figures out what to do with your money. So in terms of Sharia compliancy, uh, both Rise Invest and Stashway are not officially uh, Sharia compliant. However, Wahid Invest, the main selling point is that they only invest your money into Sharia compliant stuff. Now the auto roundup feature on your debit card, that is something unique only available to the Raiz Invest. So if you like that feature, then uh, your only option is Raiz app at the moment. So in terms of management fee, Stashaway and Wahid Invest are about the same. 0.79% annually for Stashaway, 0.8% annually for Wahid Invest. In comparison, the management fee for, for Raiz is a lot lower at 0.3%. But then again, how much you have to spend on your debit card in order to get that 3,000, quite a lot. So actually that's a pretty big jump. It's a 0.5% difference. I think the only saving grace for Raiz app for me is that it has a much lower management fee compared to Wahid Invest or Stashaway. Now, the target audience for these three apps, in my opinion, for my usage, um, Raiz is more for people who are maybe new to investment or maybe people who have who don't have the discipline to set aside money every month for savings or investment. Wahid Invest are for people who want their investment to be Sharia compliant and most of their money to be in US halal stocks. Whereas Stashaway is for people who maybe don't really care about the, the Sharia compliant thing, but the money will be more di diversified all over the world because that's what happened to my portfolio. All right, so there you have it. So uh, ultimately, what do I think about this app? I would like to love this app. Unfortunately, I don't think it's for me. And uh, it's because of the following reasons. So number one, I just don't feel comfortable linking my debit card to an app and they're gonna charge whatever they want every time I purchase something. I'm just not comfortable with that. And number two, I don't really use my debit card. So I'm really not their target audience. And number three, I don't think I have a problem with in terms of discipline, like every month to put some money aside. So because I can set money aside myself, it would make a lot more sense for me to pick up what I want to invest in. 
So those are my three reasons why I don't think Raiz app is for me. However, maybe you're, you're new to investing and you find it hard to set some money aside every month and you have a Maybank debit card and you use it a lot, then Raiz app might be a good solution for you to dip your toes and get you warmed up with investing. So this could be your stepping stone into investing in something else in the future. So that's my opinion, not a review, it's my opinion. And let me know what you think in the comments below.